Good evening. My name is Harjot Oberoi and I serve as the Associate Head of the Department of Asian Studies here. And it's my great honor and privilege to welcome all of you on behalf of the department, on behalf of the university, on behalf of the Persian Student Association who have actually put this event uh, together and as they said, this is one of the many events that they put together around the new year. You might wonder why me, I do serve as the associate head, so that's a good reason for me uh, to be here. But I'm also closely associated with the Persian initiative that the department has launched. And I have one other reason for being here. You know, I originally come from a province in northern India, and the province from which I come in ancient times uh, was known as uh, Sapta Sindhu, and that province got its name from the Persian Hapta Hindu. Uh, so the province that I come from was named by the Persians thousands of years ago, and today it's known as Punjab, which means the land of five waters. So even the modern name uh, comes from the Persians, so I think I have a special uh, association uh, with Persian studies. Uh, and the study of Persian language and history, uh, both at the university and at the department. So it's a great honor to have this opportunity to introduce Dr. Kabe Farooq uh, this evening. He's a distinguished historian, uh, he's a superb linguist, and he's a world-renowned specialist in military history. Dr. Farooq, I'm proud to say, has had a long association with UBC, he's taught courses here on ancient Persian history, he's nurtured uh, many things that go on on this campus. As some of you know, he is also uh, an internationally renowned author of books on Persian history. One of the books, uh, Shadows in the Desert, Ancient Persia at War, has won numerous awards and it particularly won the 2008 award for the best history book of the year, and if you go to Dr. Farooq's website, which we'll see shortly, I think, in his talk, you can see him personally receiving this prize, which was bestowed on him by the World Academy of Arts, Literature, and Media. Shadow in the Desert, and I see a copy here as well, has been widely discussed both in print and broadcast media. Notable outlets that have discussed and featured the book include the BBC, the Voice of America, the Wall Street Journal, uh, and the Kehan Newspaper of London. Dr. Farooq's more recent book entitled Iran at War, 1500 to 1988, which also I see a copy here, was published in 2011, and it has already been reviewed in the Wall Street Journal, and the reviews have also appeared in the New York Herald, ABC News, CBS News, and National News. I can tell you that as a practicing historian myself, I can only look at Dr. Farooq with great awe as I know how hard it is to publish and to research a full manuscript length book. And he's done this three times, so for me he's a legendary figure. Uh, it takes a huge amount of patience and effort to run a book through research and submit it to a publisher, get it edited, do the proofreading, and then finally see it uh, published. We all historians associate it with having children. You know, each book is like a child. It needs a lot of nurturing to do, and he's done that three times. So we are very honored, very proud to have him here this evening. His talk this evening is entitled The Influence of Sasanian Architecture on the European and Broader Civilization. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Farooq here this evening. 